Hello everyone, I am Jenny Axler, and in this video on the Braille Sense 6, we're going to take a look at the improvements in terms of some of the video applications that we all love to use right now to stream and watch things live from home, etc. And although these did work on Polaris just fine, they are actually much improved on the Braille Sense 6. So we'll start by taking a look at Netflix. So I'm at my main menu and I'll press A for all apps. 11,000 quotes saying status. And N for Netflix, Netflix. and press enter. List, net, list Vincenzo. And I want to go to my list. The easiest way to do this, because there's a lot of M's, is to go to the search button. Button search, press enter to activate. And go back one. Button my list, press enter to activate. So I'll press enter here. Button bridge urchin list, five items, press enter to activate. Zero. So I have a few shows in my list, and I want to watch The Big Bang Theory, so I'll press the letter T. Button The Big Bang Theory, press enter to activate. And press One. enter. Button unlabeled, press enter to activate. And now, um, probably the easiest way to get to playing an episode, I can, of course, press F3 to go through here. Button, home, press enter to button downloads, button more, press button kids, press list the Big Bang Theory 97 match 2018, button rated 15, press enter, button play the Big Bang, button download, press enter to activate, button starting, switch on remove from my button rate this video, button share, press enter to button episodes, press enter, button more like this, press enter to button season one, press enter, button episode one, pilot, when a pretty girl named Penny moves across the hall, socially awkward scientist Leonard is in button play episode, press enter, button unlabeled, press enter to active, button download, press enter to active, button okay, episode we'll two, two, the Big Brand Hypothesis, button play episode, press enter to activate, 318. And we'll press enter here, and we'll play it. Button show controls, press enter to activate. Button here you go, pad time, no peanuts. Does it have peanut oil? I'm not sure. Everyone keep Button an eye on Howard in case he starts to swell up. <laughs> Since it's not bee season, you can have my epinephrine. <laughs> Are there any chopsticks? You don't need chopsticks, this is Thai food. Here we go. Button unlabeled, press enter. So I just pressed F4 to stop playing, um, but as you can see, it's very easy to play uh, from Netflix. So as you can see, there's a lot on the screen. If you know where you're going, of course, you can use First Letter Nav and it goes very quickly. But even if you do have to navigate, it's very responsive when you're pressing F3 and Space F3, and much more so than our previous model. So let's go ahead and do a search. So I'll press S. Button search, press Enter to activate. And I'll press Enter here. And it's ready for uh, search content. So let's type. Breaking, breaking Bad, and button Breaking Bad, row 1, column 1, and grid 17 rows, 3 columns, press enter to activate. And it automatically pops up here, so again I can press F3. Button El Camino, A break button the road to El Camino, B button Better Call Soul, row 2, column 1, press enter to activate. So all of these things are related to Breaking Bad, if you're familiar with the show. So I'm getting all kinds of search results, Breaking Bad movies, Better Call Saul, and of course the Breaking Bad show. So again, very, very simple and very quick. All right, let's take a look at YouTube. So I'm going to close this. Netflix. And I'll press the letter Y to go to YouTube. YouTube. And I'll press Enter. List YouTube. Home. So again, I'm going to do a search. So I'll press the letter S. Button search, press Enter to activate. And I'll press Enter. Button Braille and six and list 30 items, press Enter to. And hey, look at that. We are, we've obviously done a search for our own product before. So uh, let's just use that. Button Braille and six, press Enter to activate. Press One enter. button passed. Disconnected, press Enter to activate. And let's press F3 to go forward and see what we have. Button filter, press Button more option, Button Braille Sense, Button go to channel, press Enter to activate. Button action menu, press Enter to activate. Button webinar Wednesday, Braille Sense 6 Brilliance. One hour, 42 minutes. Go to channel, Sight Sound Technology Limited. Ah, so this is a webinar I actually did for Sight and Sound. So let's play that why not list button minimize press enter so to welcome everybody to webinar wednesday from sight and sound technology great to be back button as always video, press enter my to name is so that was Mr. Stuart Lawler coming to you from Sight & Sound Ireland. And I paused the video because there's a couple things that I'd like to point out specifically to the visually impaired users listening to this. When you're showing a video to sighted people on YouTube, there are a couple things that you want to do. The first thing you want to do is enter full screen mode. So I'm going to press the letter E. Button enter full screen, press enter to activate. And I'll press enter here. But button minimize, press enter to do that. And now, of course, it says minimize. The other thing that you want to do is hide the controls so that you don't see the play pause and all of that stuff. The only thing about that is you've got to do that while it's playing. So I am going to restart the playback and then I will hide the controls. Button disabled previous video. Button play video, press enter to activate. Stuart Lawler and, and my colleague controls, Carl Braley live from our new offices hour, uh, is and joining I have now us. Done that. Carl's in, in, uh, in situ in we'll our new offices. We'll go ahead and close. YouTube. 
Okay, and of course, to stop being interrupted, I did have to go ahead and close the video. Um, but again, navigation in playback is very easy. Um, again, first letter nav really helps you out, especially when you know what you're doing. It's actually much faster than using a touch screen, being able to just jump where you need to go is super convenient. And all of the streaming services generally work well, whether you're talking about Hulu or Peacock or Disney Plus, um, we're able to use all of them on RailSense 6. So whether you're sharing videos with your family or whether you're just, you know, for your own entertainment, it is a really, really nice way to access these services. And of course, when you're using YouTube, you also could have searched with your voice. I didn't do that, but you can. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed this. To learn more about the BrailleSense 6, visit us online at hymns-inc.com. Thanks for watching.